It felt like summer once again today across the area, and it will on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and likely going through most of next week as well, as we are stuck in a summer-like pattern across the region. Any significant rains will likely stay well to the north of us, and that's unfortunate because look at this. Our drought monitor is not looking too good. Exceptional drought from areas west of I-35, extending back into the big country, and then as you head into the South Plains near Lubbock, they also have that exceptional and extreme drought going on across most of West Texas. It does ease up off toward the east, but it has been just a very dry spring so far. And unfortunately, I don't see much that's going to change that right here at home. We do have again that exceptional drought across the western parts of the area, including Gatesville, Hamilton, Gulfway, San Saba and Lampasas East, though. It's definitely a lot better over here, so it's amazing how it can be so vast and different from west of I-35 to east of I-35. And as far as additional rain chances, well, it looks like a bunch of zeros on the way over the next few days. And could there be a 5 to 10% chance one of those days? Sure. But right now, it's just not looking too good. And high temperatures will be into the middle 90s. Friday and Saturday will push it into the upper 90s. Sunday and Monday, some folks may hit 100 degrees as well, especially west of I-35 during this time range. So tonight, it will be a nice into the 60s and low 70s when you wake up in the morning. And then we'll have those highs into the 90s for tomorrow near 100 out towards San Saba. So it is definitely going to be another hot day across the region. And as we check out your forecast, we'll go for an official high of about 94 degrees, 95 on Saturday, 98 Sunday and close to 100 on Monday, maybe slightly cooler Tuesday and Wednesday if you want to call it that. And then back close to 100 Thursday and Friday. And there could be an isolated storm threat by the end of next week.